Y'all, it's summertime here in Savannah, Georgia. And uh, one of my favorite things in the whole world about summer foods is cream corn, y'all. Mm -hmm. Fresh cream corn. And you know what? I didn't know. I didn't know. I always felt like our corn was the finest. Well, you know, I understand New Jersey is really proud of their corn, too. And uh, my precious brother, Bubba, uh, lived out in Missouri for uh, a short time before he got sick. And he said, Paula, the corn that they grow out here is unbelievable. So I guess good corn is just good corn wherever you are. But we have always been real proud of our, uh, our Silver Queen corn. It's just delicious. Now, I'm not using Silver Queen today. I'm using, it's actually a mix. It's of your white and your yellow corn together. And uh, we're gonna do cream corn today, not, not niblets, not uh, the kernels. And if you wanna make your life so much easier, you have to get you a cutter. This is a corn cutter, and you can actually adjust it for the depth that you want your corn to be. Uh, if you're wanting niblet corn, I would um, stand this up. I would stand this up in, well, let me just show you real quick, like, because I know a lot of people probably have corn available to y'all, so I'll just show y'all a quick and easy way. If you want whole kernel corn, you just stick that corn cob down in that hole and then you just cut cut your corn off just like that. And then it'll go right down into your bunt pan. But we don't want whole kernel today. We want the actual cream. So you can see this blade right here. And then you can see uh, these sharp blades that come up. That's gonna milk your corn. So you wanna run your corn this away. Okay, let's, let me get my rhythm. This one's actually set where it's a pretty, pretty deep cut into your corn. Oh gosh, when I lived in Albany, Georgia, I used to go buy bushels and bushels of fresh corn and cut it off the cob like this. Oh my goodness, what a job. It is one nasty mean job. And so I tell you, when you, <laughs> when you put your corn in the freezer, uh, you become very, very like a miser with it. <laughs> you know, cause it's a lot of work but it's certainly worth it. So that's just to show y'all how this works. And you can find this in stainless steel or the wood, uh, but either one of them work beautifully. But I got, I got about all the goody out of that. If you think you left some, you just take your knife and run it down the cob just like this. Now there's several ways that you can cook fresh corn. The way that I have cooked it for the last 40 years is believe it or not, in the microwave. It is so good cooked in the microwave. And um, all right, now this is what Teresa had already done. She had already prepped all this for us. And she just saved me a piece so I could share with y'all the easiest and best way to cream your corn. And again, this is yellow corn, but you really, really, really wanna try to get your hands on white 
Silver Queen. And look at this. It is so, so full of juice. So I'll tell you where how my mother used to cook it. She would cream it and then she would fry strickling in her black skillet, take the strickling out and just leave the, the fat that came off of it and pour her corn into that hot cast iron skillet and just fry it until it was done. And it doesn't take very long. Uh, another way you could do it is um, just bake it in the oven at the Lady and Sons and uh, Paula Dean's Family Kitchens, we we bake it in the oven because it's just, we, we have to bake it in great big thick pans. And it's so much that it's just easier to bake, bake it in the oven. And all we add is butter. That's all, all we do. So I'm going to Add this stick of butter. And I think the recipe calls for one stick of butter for uh, four cups of cream corn. So I'm just gonna put this in here. And that was a little bit more than four cups. And I'm just gonna lay that butter on top of it. And I'm gonna put that in the microwave and it really doesn't take long to cook it. And really depending on your corn now, y'all, uh, you can you can get your hands on some corn that's not, um, doesn't have a bunch of juice. So it may be that you need to add a little cream to it when it's through cooking. But this seems to have plenty of juice. So I'm gonna stick this in the microwave and um, I'm gonna keep my good eye on it <laughs> Watch it close, bring it out, stir it, and then put it back in. And I'm gonna set that for, let's see what the vegetable, that's the fresh vegetable button. So, I'll keep an eye on that and time will fly. Get the tomatoes ready, Teresa, and the cornbread. <laughs> it's ready, y'all. It's ready. This, excuse me, Gussie. I would die if I poured hot corn on you. Okay. I think it might be one of the easiest vegetables of all to prepare, y'all. No, let me say, it's the easiest vegetable to cook, not prepare. <laughs> it's, it's not that hard once you get in the groove, but huh? it's not. It's hard as hell, y'all. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> it is so hard, but it's so worth the effort. It was so worth Teresa's effort. <laughs> I'm gonna get to enjoy this and I didn't have to do the hard work. That's okay, that's okay. You do all the other hard work. So look, look at that cream corn. Mm, mm, mm. This and some sliced tomatoes and sliced Vidalia onions. Mm -hmm. And I would say like a hoe cake, okay. maybe an okra hoe cake. That's all you need. That's all. It's supper. Seven days a week. Uh-huh. And when people come to our restaurants, they do love our cream corn. Well, that's one of the reasons why we did this this week is because we've been getting a lot of requests. Requests. I had no idea that my produce stand would not have Silver Queen corn for me this week. <laughs> so, well, I apologize that it's... Teresa, it's not everything, queen. everything is so iffy. I know. Now at the grocery store, it's I'm finding the craziest things. Your but produce stand is the best place to go. Your local produce stand. Yeah. If you have one in the area to get like mm. your best corns. Well, this is fabulous, y'all. I could eat the whole bowl. So thank you, Teresa.
I knew we were doing cream corn today, but I thought I was going to have to be the one to do the... I wouldn't do that to you. Do the, yes, baby, you can have some cream corn. Uh, let me get you a little bowl. I want you to have some, and I want you to tell me how you like it. Look, look at the size bowl I'm giving you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's hot. So be careful. Yes, it is hot. That's good. Yes, that's enough for you to taste. Now you need a spoon, baby, because I've eaten out of this one. It's a teaspoon. Yeah, here. That's perfect for you. Make sure you blow it. <clears throat> well, dip it in your spoon and then blow it. It is H-O double T hot. Is it good? <laughs> you see that thumb go up? <laughs> it's hot. It is so hot. But so good. Go wait for it to cool off. No, you have to eat it hot, just like that. <laughs> All of it, right now. <laughs> yeah, she can wait for it to cool off. <laughs> Kenny wouldn't do that to you. Mmm. Um, cream corn. You want some cream uh, corn? No, but thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was John and Henry's mother. For some reason, she doesn't like the camera. She's so pretty and so sweet, I don't know why. Best dishes, y'all. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.